Howdy guys, we are back here on the Giants Mod Hub. We are going to take a look here at Harvesters. And uh, we have the manufacturer for the Harvesters. We have Capello, Case Class Deutz. That is a new manufacturer here in the game under Harvesters. Fint, John Deere, Kemper, that is probably going to be a new one as well. Matthew Ferguson, New Holland here, Russell Mash, Ziegler is a new one. So let's start off here with Capello. And we're going to go have a look at the manufacturers as well. Uh, manufacturer here is Capello. Now these are headers. That is a header. Those two here are corn headers. That is here the Hellion Tuss. 5700 header. Work width here is 5.7 meters. Awesome. All right, 5.7. The next one here is the Capello header, the corn header, type diamond 8 because it has a diamond shaped uh, cutting teeth here. And you can find that under corn headers. Detail 6 meters. This can cut six meters all right next one here is the capello diamond 12 corn headers 12 and 9 meters all right brilliant nine meters diamond Let's have a look at the manufacturer here capello look at those guys they are making the corn headers here wow that is a corn header manufacturer plant from Capello. I wonder where that is. Look what they all make here. They make mowers here. They make what have you for farm equipment here. Diamond shaped headers. Those are the evolution of the maze header. Innovative by nature. All right. Brilliant. Look at that guys. Capello corn header here. Brilliant. Now I don't know where that uh, Capello plant is. Um, I may have to check that out off camera. All right. Let's close the stone and we are going to have a look here at Case. That is a, uh, a sugarcane harvester. Sugarcane technology. We already had had that in FarmSim 17 and FarmSim 19, so that is not going to be anything new in FarmSim 22. It's the Ost Oft or the Ostoft ED800 multi row case IH shop category under the sugarcane technology 253 horsepower speed is 10 and the work width is only 2 meters. It's uh, between here and here. Let's have a look what they do. Okay, we already have seen that. Um, but I just want to see something here. If they have anything here under uh, sugarcane harvesting, no, they don't have anything under. They don't have that. All right, class. Um, the manufacturer class type Trion 750, 720. You can find that here under under harvesters. Power output, you have a choice here between set 367 and 435 horsepower. The speed here is 30 kilometers per hour and the capacity is 12,000 liters of grain that harvester can hold. Here we have the class Convio Flex 1080. You find that under headers. 10.8 meters is the cutting width of this uh, corn header here, guys. 10.8 meters. Now that's a lot. Here we have the class type Corio 875 FC category uh, corn headers. It's the diamond shaped corn header. Work width of this one is 6 meters. Let's go into their website here. Yeah, we have already seen that when we were, when we were looking at the tractor. So Deutz. Some people uh, pronounce us as Dutz. I say Deutz because it's a German company, Deutz. 
Deutz Fa type top liner. Now this is a combine harvester, you can find that under harvesters. Top liner 4090 HTS. Let's have a look at the power here, 310 horsepower, speed is 20 and it can only hold well, it can hold 8,500 liters, which is a lot when you're working on a small farm and on small fields as well, guys. That that would be that, that would be a lot if you're if you're harvesting on small fields. The header here, the top liner, 4090 header from Deutz, six meters. Also, I want to have a look at the at the Deutz website. Okay. That is pretty strange that we didn't find anything here. That is weird. Fend. Let's see what Fend are offering us in the game. Fend are offering here that is a harvester from Fend. I know this um, as a mod in Farmsim 17 and 19. Now we have it in Farmsim 22 as an in-game harvester. It's the type ideal harvester. That is a very, very powerful harvester, guys. Power out output here, 538. You have a choice here between that and 790 horsepower. And it can hold here 17,100 liters of grain. Now that is a lot, guys. That is a lot. 40 kilometers per hour. The header is a 12 meter corn header, fend. Power flow, they call it here. The power flow. Then we have here the forage harvester. It's also a Fend. It's a Fend Katana 650 forage harvester. All right, the forage harvester. 650 horsepower and 40 kilometers per hour. Now, 40 kilometers per hour. That is not. The, the work speed that is the speed when you drive it uh, drive it on the road road speed the header we have another header down here that is the dynaflex 9255 you can find that under headers as well the work rate for that header is 12 meters i want to jump into the fent site here the official Um, that is probably the Fend Harvester right here. No, we, we can't. Uh, we can't click on that one. Anyway, John Deere. Let's have a look at the John Deere Man manufacturer. John Deere Type T560. That is a small harvester. Details here are. 387 horsepower 40 kilometers per hour and the grain capacity or the tank capacity i should say is 10,000 liters that's a lot also when you're working on a small farm that is a lot and the headers for it here are the john deere 625x that is a grain header with 7.6 meters of work width that one here is a uh, john deere type 608c that is a corn header with a work width here of six meters jump into the john deere website here yeah we were there before kemper let's see what kemper has to offer kemper what is this this is a f another forage harvester header that you can uh, put on on your forage harvester camper it's a uh, 375 plus all right details required power 650 horsepower so you can hook that one up to this guy here for example you can hook the camper up to this uh fend forage harvester 375 plus is the info on this forage harvester header you can find that under forage harvester headers in the shop category power output uh, 650 7.5 meters cutting wood now that is that's a lot as well 
This one here is the Kemper Type 390 Plus. You can find it under four traversers. Required power 750. Now I don't know what. Um, yeah, maybe the four traverser from Fend as well. You can uh, stick it on there. Nine meters cutting width, so that is more than this guy has. Only 7.5 meters. Kemper. Let's see what Kemper has to offer here. In real life, um, they have to offer uh, 27th of July 2021. I think they are going to be having an event on that date. The make here that is a camper that is um, that is a forage harvester down here. I think that when you cut the grass. You go over the cut grass with this guy here, and he's going to fire that into the into the truck here, into the trailer, and makes forage out of it. All right. You can see the the company name Kemper Profi Cracker. That is what I'm talking about down here, and here you can see it as well. So brilliant. Uh, Kemper, Masai Ferguson, and we have a Masai Ferguson harvester as well. We're not going to go into the manufacturer because we were there before. Manufacturer, Masai Ferguson, type Ideal. Okay, Ideal seems to be the brand name for this harvester. Just like the Fendt harvester, he also had an Ideal brand name. Alright, the details, and this one here is 538 horsepower, you have a choice here of selecting either 538 or 790, 790 horsepower, 40 kilometers per hour, and the, the tank size here is 17,100 liters of grain you can hold in this harvester, guys. Brilliant. Down here you have the type Dynaflex. 9255 that is a grain header you have a cutting width here of 12 meters this one here is the power flow you can find that under headers as well and this one also has a cutting width of 12 meters and that is also a grain header yeah new holland see what they have to offer in the game um, that is a New Holland Type CH 7.70. Now that is a small harvester, and that harvester has only when it has 374 horsepower here. The speed is 30 kilometers per hour. The capacity of that grain tank here is 9,300 liters of grain it can hold. All right, now the headers. Type very feed. Uh, 28 ft that doesn't stand for 28 feet of cutting width 8.5 meters is the work width here of this grain header i should say here we have the superflex 25 ft uh, grain header 7.5 meter is the cutting width here and this one all right, let's have a look at Rostel Mesh. We have here a combine harvester from Rostel Mesh. It's the Nova 330. You can find that here under the category harvesters. The power output on this one here is 175 horsepower here. And uh, it can drive 20 kilometers per hour. It has a grain tank capacity here of 4,000. 900 liters of grain. All right, brilliant. The header here is the Power Stream 500. You can find that under the shop category um, headers. Five meter cutting wood. Let's go into the manufacturer Rostelmesh. Grain and forage harvesters. Look at that, guys. Rostelmesh. Here you can see the different types of. Uh, Combines they have, they have the RSM, which stands for Rostel Mesh 161, the Turum 765 here, also the Turum 770, the RSM 1403, 
Vector 425 and the Acros 595 Plus. I'm sure they have a lot more back here. Then they have here the corn header. That is the Draper Grain Header DS900. All right, brilliant. What else do they have? They have a grass header here. Uh, 600 mounted rotary mower. Okay, that is a rotary mower that you can uh, hook up probably on the front of your tractor or even on the back as well, guys. That is the float stream. All right. Nice. Rustle mesh. Ziegler. Let's see what Ziegler has. Uh, Ziegler, that is a corn header with diamond shaped teeth. It's the Corn Champion 5R. Now, that only has a cutting width here of 3.4 meters. Let's have a look into their website here. Ziegler. That is their manufacturer plant. Mm. No, we're not gonna we're not gonna take a tour. That is the Ziegler plant where they make those corn headers here. Brilliant. Ziegler GmbH. And those where are they? Are they in... No, those are just uh, different types of addresses where they are, I think. One is in Germany, the other one here is in Austria. Then you have one here in, in Hungary. In England, you have a Ziegler company in, Engl in England. Uh, Schrobenthus, yeah. And in New Zealand as well. Even one in Serbian, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina. So plenty of Ziegler plants around the world here. All right. So that is it on the harvesters. We are going to go into equipment in the next video, which is going to be part three. Let me know what you guys think of the harvesters on this game or in this game and I hope you guys are going to be ordering Farm Sim 22 and play it as well and have a lot of fun with it. And let me know what you guys think of the, the vehicles and the harvesters so far. So thanks for watching guys and uh, we will see you guys here in part 3. Bye bye.